Founder of the Household of God Church, Rev. Chris Okotie, on Wednesday, June 16, clocked 62. Days after releasing a statement mocking the late founder of the Synagogue Church of All Nations, Prophet Temitokwe Joshua. Okotie posted an article on Instagram written by his spokesman, Ladi Ayodeji, in his honor. The article was titled, Okotie, a troubadour and my madam of Christ at 62. Okoti had in his own article, which was released three days after Joshua died on June 5, described the prophet as wizard at Endor, who assumed the title Emmanuel. Writing about Okoti, Mr. Ayodeji said, It is written, Teach us to number our days so that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. Simply put, a numerical accountability of time fosters wisdom in the innermost recesses of our being. Consequently, I have come to redefine my philosophical center of gravity and embrace a transcendent equanimity. I am a better man. I am a wiser man. I am a better servant of the Lord Jesus. Extracted from Okoti's birthday allocution two years ago. I know Okoti has been pastor of the Household of God Church for the past 34 years. His innovative presentation of the New Testament church structure and profound teaching have set his ministry on a pedestal from most local churches in Nigeria. In 2003, Okoti ran for president in the philosophical political concept called Messianicism. He posited that the concept of sacrificial leadership would augur well for the prosperity and unity of Nigeria. This concept was developed and became the foundation of what he called Aboriginal Democracy. This informed his letter Pacifica, which he wrote to the APC and PDP in 2019, urging them to adopt him as a consensus remedial facilitator. He concluded that the issues Okoti raised in his letter have become the basis for the seeming fragmentation of Nigeria today. At 62, we salute an icon who has demonstrated prodigious capacity in music, religion, and politics. His convictions have laid necessity on him to defend and confirm God's word with consented bravado. Truly, he is a troubadour and myrmidon of Christ, he added. <laughs>